Hello everyone, welcome back after like two weeks of me not posting anything since we're all in quarantine and stay home kids but um, since a lot of people were messaging me like why don't you do videos, what's wrong and you are you not gonna do any more videos and I wanted to and I had great plans of traveling and actually doing videos of my traveling but guess what happened corona and quarantine and so now for my own safety and for other people's safety um, I'm not gonna travel and you shouldn't too or get out of the house unless you want to buy some like food and stuff and also maybe alcohol but you know that's just you know anyway um, so since I haven't done videos and then people were messaging me and I was like what should I do and they were like oh do like a home routine and stuff like that but I'm not really doing anything exciting at home I'm doing schoolwork and I'm just reading books I'm listening to a lot of music if you're following me <laughs> one eternity later right let's continue so if you are following me on instagram you must have noticed that i'm just sharing a lot of songs there because uh, i'm dedicated to songs and i love songs but i wanted to do this video that is a story time video because i'm gonna tell you people a story that i have hidden ever since my Lapland trip something happened and I hid it from everyone except from my um, friends here my good old friend Carolina and Marketa because they obviously they were there with me but oh, I just didn't really tell my parents so hi mom and dad if you're watching I'm sorry because I didn't want to worry you guys and um, also I didn't really tell anyone really because I thought everyone would be scared because it wasn't a nice thing so okay let's get into the story what happened in Lapland was everything was fine everything was great you know and everything was going like absolutely amazing. I was the happiest person on earth because it, it's been like a very um, long dream of mine to visit Lapland. But we, we decided to go ice swimming and I was actually waiting to go ice swimming in Lapland because I could go here in Turku too. But Lapland sounds more fun, right? Yes, it was. I cannot deny. So, uh, if you have watched my Lapland video, I want to point out that I hate when my hair is up, when I have to put it in a ponytail. And when we are going ice swimming there, you must have seen that my hair is in like a bun. And like I did like a ponytail, then it turned into a bun because I didn't want to... Uh, get my head under that like minus 10 freezing cold water so and I didn't want my hair to go in that water as well so I had it in like a bun everything's great till then then we run back inside the sauna everything's fine I'm freezing I'm like you know just enjoying the sauna and uh, it's one of my first experiences in sauna because I just don't like hot places because I'm a very very winter person so we were back in sauna and then someone says hey let's go back to ice swimming again and I'm like yes I'm up for this come on let's go that's where everything went like very wrong and funny because well what happened was I um, went down I was like it, it was like a sauna like with layers and then I was right at the top at the side because we were in there with like freaking 10 people and I got down and you know I'm trying to get between people and the sauna flooring is like a floor type 
um, there's, there was this wooden thing so we wouldn't slip because there is water on the ground. Um, I, my uh, foot decided to find a place where there was this no wooden thing which was like you know a miracle because everywhere was covered with that Ex expect from one place which was a very tiny space and it had to be me that I st stepped on it and, and so I I slipped like very funnily I just went like you know like in the movies or in like cartoons when the character just like flies and then just and I'm like laying on the floor and everyone just got up all these people in their swimsuits and they're like are you okay are you okay and I'm like yeah everything's fine it hurt like hell nothing was fine because well what happened was I hit my head and because I had the bun my head head didn't directly hit the floor if it had hit the floor I would probably be dead right now uh, so the bun saved my head but and I felt fine you know I got up um, and then we went back um, to ice swimming and then we came back again and then we went out again and we jumped on snow and then you know we were just having fun but I had this kind of headache but not really you know I just didn't really mind because I was so into like ice swimming and we're in Lapland okay so and that night because of the cold weather and the water and because of me being a very sensitive person uh, I got a high temperature and I was sick and not feeling fine so the next morning I wake up I went to the bathroom I came back I'm changing my clothes but I had this hurt like my body is hurting I realize that my arm I have never had such like a um, bruise in my life. My arm is completely like blackish, purplish, like a big spot. It's It hurts like hell. And then my um, leg, like my side where I fell. And then obviously my backside is purple, like real, real purple. And you can see like the veins like it was so disgusting and I was like shit what happened because I didn't feel it the day I fell and I woke up to that the next morning it was as if someone had beaten me and so you know we didn't have any cream or anything I could put on and uh, that and then you know I'm talking with my parents and everyone else everything's fine like I'm so happy but, but everything was hurting I was dying I had a temperature I have these bruises all over my body my head was almost going to like explode into pieces and I'm like smiling all the time and just enjoying it but uh, looking back at it now I just I'm happy like I didn't let it get in my way obviously like no, not gonna happen um, but it was a quite different experience for me and something I will never forget and I'm sorry to everyone I did not tell this to because I was really like they would get worried I know that but it wasn't a very pretty thing but anyway Thank you for listening to my Letland story of how I fell and kept it a secret for like one or two months because the bruise was there for almost like two months, didn't go away. Now it's gone. But thank you for watching. Stay at home. Do not go out. And if you would like me to make videos at home of what I do in a day, comment down below so I know or send me a message. And thank you for watching!